Hi there. Today, we are gonna show you how to get a shed or a large chicken coop off the back of a trailer. Um, we picked up this trailer off of Facebook Marketplace uh, in Odessa, Missouri, and I wish we had a video of getting it onto the trailer because that was pretty, that was quite a feat. Uh, but now, it's just Steve and I and we need to get it off of the trailer. So right now Steve's attaching the hitch, back onto the flex, a little victory dance, probably a little preemptive, but you know, we all love a good dad dance, triple axle. And back to work. Um, now we're back in the trailer up, closer to the chicken run, because we want the coop attached to the run so that the chickens can go in and out as they like during the day. That's me driving the flex. Getting it nice and lined up. The chickens were very curious what we were up very to. Curious. So the next thing we're gonna do is get the ratchet straps and we're gonna hook the shed up to a tree and um, the idea is that you hook it up to a tree and then you put the gate down and you just drive the car away and theoretically the shed will just slide right off the back of the trailer doesn't slide as beautiful. Oh, there's a bird. I saw a bird. But uh, now I'm focused. It's hard to see any birds if I keep the uh, sunroof closed. So this takes a little finagling. We pull forward a little bit. It gets stuck. Steve pushes a little bit. A little wiggle here, a little wiggle there. And there's a lot of this back and forth like that. It probably all told took us a little over an hour to get the shed off of the trailer. Make sure you go really slowly when you first start because those ratchet straps really tighten up. And if you go too fast, you could probably snap them. So now we're gonna add a piece of plywood board. The gate's all the way down, flat, or I guess angled, but it's all the way down touching the ground. We're gonna add a piece of plywood board to hopefully um, allow the shed just to slide right on top of that board instead of on the rough gate. One thing we realized doing this is that it's really important for the car to be, for the tires of the car to be straight ahead. You don't want to have them turning while it's sliding off because the trailer will rotate underneath the shed and you won't get a nice clean slide. Just a little pushing, a little wiggling. We've almost got it. We're just taking it nice and slow so we don't have any giant disasters. And here it goes. And it's on the ground. We did it. Yeah. Over here. So the last thing we need to do is get it right up against the run. We tried to get it as close as we could straight off of the trailer, but you know, with those big wells and wheel wells, it just wasn't possible to get it right up next to the run. So now Steve's using um, a two by four by eight sort of just leverage it 
over there. And I'm showing you the whole thing, sped up, but showing you the whole thing so you can kind of get an idea just how long it takes, how you just got to keep working at it. Our three-year-old let the dog out. So now we have extra help. We need to give the three-year-old a popsicle and put them on the bench on the porch so that they wouldn't come over. So I guess make sure you have plenty of treats on hand if you have any little ones or little creatures living with them. I started helping Steve, but really was honestly going more smoothly with just one person using leverage. And we did it. There's the coop right next to the run. And make sure you clean up when you're done. Creative cleanup is the best kind of cleanup. Whatever works, right? And that's how we got our chicken coop slash shed off of a trailer. Thanks for watching, everybody.